All right. Hi, you guys. Hi, Raul. Hi, Barbara Clark. Let me go over here and get my chat on YouTube. Turn off the sound. That would be a good thing. Okay. Better. You figure, hi, Fritch. You figured out how to chat on your phone. That is always a good thing. I don't like chatting on the phone because I'm not a good thumb typer. Because I'm not 12. Well, I act 12. Take care, Brett. All right. This is not focusing, you freak. focusing on the scavenger hunt book it looks like uh, it's always something you guys anyway so oh I know one reason it's not is I don't I didn't turn on the lights well that could make a big difference right there let's see how that works now all right that's a little better man that got bright all of a sudden okay um, hi, Icy. Hi, Barbara Chicken Pot Pie. Hi, Linda Rents and Tim. Raul. Um, hi, Chris. Chris, again, for those of you who have not seen Chris's um, scavenger hunt video, she put it out. Saturday or yesterday, I don't know which. I watched it, I think, last night. You guys, it's so good. She did a scroll with all the prompts in it. Amazing. Amazing. She set the bar very high. The rest of you goofs are going to have to really pull out all the stops because she outdid herself. For real. Well done, um, Chris. <clears throat> hey, Dee Dee. Did you see? Chris's um, scavenger hunt. It was so good. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing with this camera here. Anyway. Um, hi, Pam. You've been working on your scavenger hunt book? I haven't been doing much. Um, okay. I'll come and look at it, Raw, for sure. Hey, other Janet. So, yeah. And, you know, one of the things I think that makes me feel so good about, you know, like really everybody's entry and I do try and go search the hashtag periodically. So I, I do get to see everybody's stuff. Um, when I say I want you guys to think outside the box, oh, my gosh, some of you are just amazing. But the fact that you're doing it to me is awesome. It's just, yeah, it's just something to focus on. And I don't think you have to um, judge what you're doing. If you're having fun because that's the only rule about this whole crazy thing. One thing I like about it is, like for example, today, I'm going to do the um, texture paste. I used to do that periodically, and I've just gotten away from it. In a while and um so it makes me go back and think about unused products techniques that i haven't tried in a while um because since i got into watercolor i don't do a lot of the mixed media stuff so it makes me go back and do things that as a rule i just don't do frequently hey cb so yeah Yes, Sherry came in. Hi, Sherry. I didn't see you come in. You're watching on TV and doing chat on your phone. Fridge, buddy, you are living large. So anyway, I'll go ahead and show you guys. I don't remember what I did last Monday. Honestly, I don't remember what I did. So I'm just going to show you what I've done this week. I added that. That was um, sent to me by a friend. And it's foil. And it's got little charms and everything, and I love it. And so I wanted it to find a good home, and it did. It found a good home right there. Let me fix this camera again. I don't want it there. 
so let's see how many of these prompts I have done. I have notes all over this. So I don't know. I would say I'm about a third done, maybe. And you people that are already finished, I don't even know what to say about you. Freaking overachievers. So what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Oh, that's just I'm saving those. Of course, this. I haven't done any more monsters. I don't remember if I um, finished this. I think I did this last Monday, right? I did the emoji of Pinocchio, um, random useless facts, stencil, or did ink through a stencil, circle and squares. The background is squares. Sanity is a cozy lie. There's a bunch. Let's see how many I actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this page has 10 of the prompts on it. I'm acting like you freaks that have gotten it all done. Oh, and a note to myself, dear self, don't act like a freaking line politician. You're not an overachiever. I'm not either, Sherry, and I take a lot, a lot of pride in that. Hi, Missy. Um, and then I did um, a coupon. It's a redeemable, redeemable coupon. This coupon is good for one complete truth. Present this coupon to a known liar to receive a truthless statement on any subject good on the sixth thursday of any month no expiration so i got my coupon done and yeah i don't know who i'll use it on yet and this is the page i'm going to work on today i'm going to do the di texture page and then make some atcs to fit on this side of the page and that is a quote out of alice in wonderland you're entirely bonkers but i'll tell you a secret all the best people are all right, let's see if this is straight. The camera is incredibly crooked. Let's see how that is. Terry Brett's only got seven to do. Ah. So here's the, um, the first page I did was the outer space, mushrooms, fluorescent paint, fluorescent paper. Um, an envelope, the letter. Um, so I've got two, four, six, eight. I've got eleven on this page. Oh man, I am. I'm bordering on overachiever. Uh -huh. Um. And then this week, when I was by myself, I didn't do this on stream. Obviously, the background. I'm counting as steampunk because it's got the gears because I never um, I never got into the whole steampunk thing. I didn't buy the products. I didn't, I, the sten I think I have a gear stencil, but yeah, I never got into it. So that is going to have to do for steampunk. It's, it's all I got. This one, this is what I did off and on all last week. Okay, so in this one, Look for the headline, snark, steampunk, which is the background. I already told you that. Fib art, vintage photo, a tribute, a zodiac sign, a flower, origami. Oh, I didn't do. Yeah, I changed my mind about the origami. I got to scratch that out because I did that separate. Um, gratitude, magazine, rubber stamp, and craft paper. So check this out. All right a little newspaper and because of this letter in here the newspaper headline for good news was monkey island resident receives letter from outer space and i'll read it to you guys because i like reading hi Kimberly. hi maddie anybody i miss coming in i don't mean to miss you i just do okay in the most bizarre news department this week a letter from outer space was delivered to Janet Young, a resident of Monkey Island. It seems that an errant creature stowed away on a recent intergalactic vehicle bound for Earth. The author of the letter, an alien named Bojobiko, I don't know his name, um, was pleading for residents to be on the lookout for the stowaway, known as Ronacol. Ronacol is described as a 
centimeter tall pink furry creature weighing 2.3 grams. If you see Ronna call, please notify NASA so we can get Ronna call back home. An Amber Alert has been issued. So, see a pink furry creature, something like this, which is art from Terry Brett. Call NASA. And I didn't put it in the article because I ran out of room, but Ronica likes mushrooms, canned mushrooms. And then here's a little bit of stuff. Snark. Um, relax, we're all crazy. It's not a competition. <clears throat> this is flowers out of a magazine, Blooming Now, a tiki torch and Siberian iris mix. The weekly art contest winner is Terry Brett. Oh, I'm cutting out. I didn't even use the snowball mic this time, Dee Dee. Ugh, do I need to switch? All right. Let me go get the microphone and we'll try this again. This is annoying. All right, give me just a second to hook it up and go over and switch it on StreamYard and let's see how it goes. Check all the connections. All right, hooked up. When you're away from sitting, it's better. What? My microphone doesn't like my voice? That is not a good sign. All right, hang on. Let me get the um, snowball mic and you can tell me again if it's working. All right, pull this down. Restore my chat here. Okay. Hey, Dorothy. All right. New microphone. So let's see how we go. The weekly art contest winner was Terry Brett. Congratulations to Terry for winning this week's art contest. Her submission was chosen by all the judges for its simple beauty. To be considered in our weekly contest, send your submission to Good News. So, and that was another piece of Terry Brett's art. And the reason I'm using all Terry Brett's art is because I had just gotten that letter from her when I started the scavenger hunt. So it was just like, well, every bit of that's getting used. Okay, this is the vintage photo. It's a tribute to Madame Rose Marie Walker. Madame Walker was born Sarah Berry in fact on a Louisiana cotton plantation to poor sharecroppers. She had a great deal of success in the New Orleans theaters, moving to Oklahoma to open a hugely successful bordello. Hey, Dixie Doodles. This one is, um, you had to create your own Zodiac. So this is birth sign, and I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm going to say Acedia, which is Latin for sloth. Born under the sign of Acedia, Latin for sloth. You are without care. Oops, I forgot. Hang on. Got to fix my little thing here. You are without care. You're slow, seemingly lazy beyond belief. You are cute, but your lack of proportion is disconcerting and seems unwieldy and laughable. Your intensity for hanging around upside down leads others to assume your head is full of nothing but hunger. You will probably never accomplish anything worthwhile. I would cry if that was my horoscope. So, yeah, can you see the little drawing of the sloth? Hi, Kitty Jen. And then the back is craft paper. So happy we found each other. 
And originally my tribute was going to be to um, the Fibs. And I thought, oh, no, that is just, that's too sappy. So, yeah, we did it to a madam instead. So that was the good news newspaper that satisfied a bunch of prompts. And then I did do um, the origami. I don't know what I'm going to end up, how I'm going to um, present it. But, yeah, I did do another one of the origami fortune tellers to be used in here because I really like this and I gave one away. Let me see if I can make it work. All right, come on. Quit being difficult. So there you go. Yeah, so I don't know. I'll slap that somewhere in here. Okay, let me, I'm still cutting out. I don't know what to do. Hi, Bissup. You finished the scavenger hunt? Wow. We'll get you on the list. Good on you, Bissup. Jeez, five people. It either makes me think you guys are just too good or it wasn't hard enough. Where's the back of the book? All right, got you on there. Okay, Dixie's saying it's okay there. CB's saying it's okay there. So I'm not going to worry about it. And I think that's it. I have a bunch of junk stuck in the book that I just don't know what I'm going to do with yet. So those are the only completed pages I have. So all you overachievers, sit around and feel superior if you want. How about that? So this is the page I'm going to work on today. Alice in Wonderland. With texture paste and stencils. And I, when I do the list of um, scavenger hunt stuff, I try and make it so, especially since COVID, so that you don't have to leave your home. Um, you should have everything there. And the only thing I, I think this year that is on the list that I thought, oh, I don't want people to have to buy that if it's not something they use regularly was the um, texture paste. So I had promised that I would show you how to do a DIY texture paste. You like the papers? Yeah, they're just... Um, pattern paper that I knew I was never going to use otherwise. So, um, yeah, I think the only thing was that you couldn't either find on the internet, but that you had to use was texture paste. So, um, I've made it before. I don't use it very often. And I made some yesterday just to make sure that it was going to work okay and, and everything. So I'm going to give you the recipe. And actually, if you go look out on the internet, there's lots of different recipes. Um, I used one that you use the same parts of each of the three items. So the three items that you need that, to make this is baby powder. I think any kind of powder, actually, talc powder, anything. And I also read that you can use cornstarch, um, acrylic paint. I think any kind of cheap craft paint is fine. And... I think it's called PVA glue, but just use cheap Elmer's school glue. I get this at Walmart when they do school supplies for like a quarter a jar. Now, that was old time prices. New time prices is probably $25 a jar. Hi, Carol. <clears throat> so those are the three ingredients to do DIY texture paste. I made, um, it was a half a tablespoon that I used to make, and it made it So um, I had extra left over, and I just put it in this little throwaway container and then covered it with a saran wrap and a rubber band, and it kept overnight. So I think if you make too much, I mean, you can throw it away from the street, um, but I think if you put it in an airtight jar, you could probably make to last for a while if you like texture paste and use it. And it's kind of messy. 
Um, this seemed to last pretty well. Um, and I think it's going to work well through the stencils. When I really finished it with equal parts of the three items, I thought it was a little wide and I felt like it was going to run under the um, stencil. So I added more powder. You could also um, thicken it up just by letting it sit out in the air for a while. I didn't want to spend the time. So um, I just added a little bit more powder. And it, if you use a palette knife, and if you don't have a palette knife, just use anything. Um, a spoon would work. But just smush it out and just move it, move it, move it. And it will all come out to real nice, smooth textures. So there you go. So, any questions so far? Hey, Aunt Beck. Hope I didn't miss anybody coming in. Um, I thought I would um, make some ATCs for that um, Alice in Wonderland page. And before I get started, let me show you. I got on Amazon. Ugh. Amazon is a scary place. And part of the reason it's scary is Didi. I did get the gold mica ink. It's stuff nice, guys. If you like gold, this was not expensive. Got little balls in there. You can shake it up. It is vibrant, very vibrant. So I did get that. And I got this packet of Alice in Wonderland vintage stickers. So let me just show you real quick. And I don't remember how much it was, but I knew I would use all this stuff. So I didn't mind um, buying it. And because it was stickers, they had die cut it out. But like this one where there's white borders around it, I don't like that. So yesterday while I was sitting watching some podcast, um, I cut all the um, white borders off. So just heads up, if you don't like the white borders, yeah, you're going to have to fussy cut. And um, yeah, it's just a bunch of fun stuff. You get, these are not stickers, these big pages in the back. These are just printed papers, but they're still cool. All Alice in Wonderland themed. So I'll probably be using these here and there throughout the book. I like Alice in Wonderland. I like the story. Bingo. So they're pretty typical images that you would see in Alice in Wonderland. But they are kind of vintage looking. So, yeah. That's just a collage page. These, again, are just paper, so um, the only thing that, well, the tags weren't stickers either, so. But you get some nice images. And while I was looking through it, it made me think, man, I should go back and read Alice in Wonderland again. And then there's, now these are sticker papers. Off with her head. Just some pattern paper, which I could use in the ATCs. They're not a good size for that, but I could use it for that. In fact, maybe this one. No, I'm going to use this stencil. Never mind. Never mind. So you get quite a bit of stuff. It wasn't really that um, expensive. And then you get a bunch of little tags, which I will use in the book somewhere because tags is one of the prompts, right? So, but there's a whole bunch of little tags. I did have to punch the holes in these, but that, I didn't care about that. So you get little stuff. What's this? Okay. And then these are the sticker pages. It's really more than I expected to get, frankly. 
I like the artwork. And then the rest of them are all just little bottles, images, quotes, tickets. So that's what you get. So I'm going to use some of that today. Now I've got it all messed up. All right, we'll put that aside for later. I swear, Amazon has everything. I really didn't expect to find a whole packet of Alice in Wonderland stickers. Yeah, just go on Amazon and um, I think I just did Alice in Wonderland stickers, honestly. And then I was pleasantly surprised when they were um, kind of vintage. So, yeah. So kind of in the vein of what I've just shown you, I'm going to go ahead. I picked out a few little stencils. Um, that one I hand cut. These are purchased. I don't know. Probably this one I think is Balzer Designs. So, but I tried to pick out um, images that were small. Um, <clears throat> but that I thought would work well. So those are the stencils I got out to work with. Okay. I lied. These are Crafter Workshop stencils. And then there's some of the stickers I picked out that I think I'm going to use. So while I was playing yesterday, I did go ahead because um, I'm going to actually work on these with the stickers, but I'm going to do the stenciling on the other ATCs. Um, I wasn't sure how long it would take to dry. So I kind of felt like, oh, I better have something prepared to keep working on. So, um, yeah. Oh, one thing I know I need is baby wipes. Hey, Devin. So I can clean up after my messy self. So if you came in late, Devin, I just... Um, talked about how to make DIY texture paste with baby powder, acrylic paint, and PVA glue, which is just school glue. Um, water soluble. I actually think Eileen's um, glue work as well. So, um, yeah, let's just start somewhere. A palette knife does make doing this really easy. But if you don't have one, don't worry about it. You'll find something that'll work. A kitchen knife, anything. I'll tell you if it's thickened up a little bit. But like you only need a little bit. So really that um, a half a tablespoon recipe that I used was more than adequate. As I use baby powder. It smells like a clean baby's butt. There you go. And if you get somewhere you don't want it, just scrape it off. Just be more texture. You hate the smell of baby powder? Um then I would say you need to use some other kind of powder or use um, cornstarch. That was another one of the options is to use cornstarch. And cornstarch might make it a little bit thicker. The only thing I thought about that is I think cornstarch is coarser than um, powder. So it might be a little grainier is the only thing I can think. But you do you, boo. And I would say, I know a lot of you don't like cleaning your stencils, but if you're going to use texture paste or anything like that on it, I would recommend cleaning your stencils. Just saying. Because they're not going to work good the next time if you don't. Okay.
because really a little bit goes a long, long way. This, I think, is behaving a lot better after having letting it sit for a day for sure. So keep that in mind too. Or just thicken it up with more powder is what I would do. Now I'm going to set that one aside and let it dry. I meant to get out a bucket of water. But that's okay. I'll um, I'll wash them all later. I made mine with cornstarch and it was greenier, which is why I said mine seemed like moon crater. Okay. There you go. You just got the answer. Barbara said she used the cornstarch recipe. Um, so, um, This one I did over the whole back of the stents or ATC, and I think I'm going to do that again. The only thing is I cut this one myself. Um, I cut a bunch of stencils. Like if I, it's a one-time thing or yeah, I had, I don't mind sitting down and cutting the stencils. If you buy those plastic um, report covers, I think I got mine at Walgreens or something, and they were like 50 cents, and you got – you know, the pockets and both sides. So I felt like, oh, that's a good deal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and alter this a little bit right now. Because if I screw it up, I just cut another one. I don't care. But those are really easy to cut. And the reason I'm cutting this little edge off is so I can butt it up. And I should measure, okay? I should do that. But that plastic cuts real easy. And it's rigid enough um, that it, it works well as a stencil. So if you want to cut your own, get after it. All right, how many of you watched Dee Dee this morning and now feel like you want to do collage? <laughs> Every time she does it, I'm like, oh, someday I'm going to try that. And now she's challenged me, so someday I'm going to do it. I'm not going to do it on stream because you guys already have enough make fun of me material. Right? Right. And if it's not perfect, nobody cares. For you for sure, Terry. See, that's the thing. Every time I, I watch Dee Dee do it, I think, I'm going to try that. I'm really going to try it. And then I get intimidated and don't try it. But she's challenged me, so I'm going to have to do it. <clears throat> One little stencil and I can have a whole brick wall. The paper is wanting to curl, so. It'll dry flat though. I learned that yesterday. One more little pass. The reason I'm cleaning that up in between is I don't mess on the back, right? Right. I think I should wipe the back of this off because I am going to make a mess if I don't. Sweet.
and I did not use the heat gun to dry that yesterday. So I think it would be safe if you're in a hurry um, to use your heat gun to dry this if you want to just keep on moving. All right, I'm going to go put this in the sink. Let me get a little tub of water. That would be best. That will satisfy the OCD in me. Mm. Set it aside and let it dry. Okay. Ready for more? So when it dries, are you going to graffiti on the brick wall? Some spray, some snark. I could. Hi, Judy. Hi, cat and paste. I could do that. I think I actually have. I, You know the, um, oh, I shouldn't put myself on the spot like that. Um, the guy with the big nose that everybody was using as graffiti. I can't think of his name. Um, something. Oh, right. Oh, right, was here. Yeah, I've actually used that stencil um, for the Kilroy was here. Graffiti. So um, I think this next one I'm going to paint. Oh, I should have um, colorized. Let's do the dark blue. If you want to colorize your texture paste, you can do it with acrylic paint, too. Keep in mind, though, when you do that, you're going to thin it down. Not that I care. I'm just going to paint the back of the card on this one, and then we'll colorize the texture paste on top of it. I hope you guys appreciate it, but I did prepare a little bit today. Jimmy Durani, there you go, Didi. No, do you guys remember Kilroy? Um, I think you have to be um, a certain age to appreciate that. And you could do this on a different color paper. I just cut a bunch of white, so I just thought, oh, I'll just paint the backgrounds. And most of you, I'm sure, know ATCs. Um, the standard size for ATC is two and a half by three and a half, two and a half wide by three and a half high. Um, but you can make them any size. In this, it doesn't really matter because it's going in a book. So I could have literally made these any size at all. No big deal. And that will dry quickly, so. <clears throat> All right, I think I've used that baby wipe up pretty much. All right, what other one did I want to paint? I did paint one. Another one red. So I'll paint the next one red. So it can be drying and then I can work on top of it. Mm. 
Jimmy and his auntie. That's funny. And I don't care if what gets on the back of these cards. I don't want the texture paste because I want them to lay flat in the book, but it doesn't matter either way. Actually, I'm going to. I don't want it. The blue, I don't mind. This, I think I'm going to just make it a little messier. Just add a little bit more texture. And then that one can dry. Poured out a little bit too much paint. Now. If I had a desk journal, I could have used that paint in it. I need to get a desk journal. Let me hit this with a heat gun. It's just a little bit wet stuff. use the little bit of circles. I'm going to colorize some of this. With the red, and it's going to come out like you saw how dark this red is. When I put this in here, it's actually going to end up pink, but that's fine. There you go. Doing such a good job. Hi, Art Curious. Keep in mind, when I add the red paint, it's going to thin that down. So if it's too thin, um, you can add some baby powder to it. So if you make a big batch of white, you know, you can put inks or anything else in it. I think it'll be fine. And I'm not going to thicken it. It is a little thin, though. If it's runny, it's, it's going to go under your stencil. So just keep that in mind. If that bothers you, um, yeah. It sucks to be you because stuff like that does kind of bother me, but oh well. And you can do the whole background or just do parts of it. Um, I think this time I'm going to do just parts of it. See what I'm saying? Because it was thinner, it did go under. That doesn't bother me. Don't care about that. Because the stuff on top is hopefully going to disguise that. Baby wipe. All right, I'm done with that so I can dump it in the water.
You use a lot of baby wipes. So if you're stingy with your baby wipes, you don't want to do this. You know what? I should grab one of those half comp books and start a desk journal, shouldn't I? I did order some of the ones that Didi ordered. The up and down ones, because I hadn't seen those. And I'm probably going to write all my dirty words in there. Actually, I think I'll put this on the cover. There you go. Just started a new desk journal. So all the junk that's left over can go in here now. This was another hand cut stencil. All right, I've got a name that I've got to figure out here. All right, tell me if I'm correct. Is it Adelia? We'll see how good I am. All right. Where did my paper towel go? Hmm. Adelia. Adelia. Okay, thank you. Hi, welcome. Thanks for coming by. All right, so next we'll do the red one. Um, what do we want on this one? I've done the clock. Don't want to do this. Now, this is a die cut that I have the die for, and it's just on um, craft paper. So, yeah, this one I'm probably getting ready to trash out, frankly, but that's okay. We're not gonna worry about it. We don't care. Oh, I should've used the rest of the pink on this one. Oh, well, um, I think I'll use blue. And honestly, you guys, I'm using way too much of this. You don't need to use that much. And this is going to end up being kind of a light blue, I suspect. I am going to add some more powder because I want it thicker. How you like that? That's a good measuring system I got going there. But it smells like a clean baby's butt in here. And this is pretty much how I made the, um, the texture paste. Just threw it all on the table and smooshed it together. And just kept working it and working it until it got really smooth. And you can see how thick this is now is. And that's fine. It's probably going to work just fine. Definitely thicker than the others, for sure. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? All right. Do I like the placement of that? I think I do. Thicker is easier to work with, I think. I'm going to use it up, and when it's done, it's done. If they're not complete, that's fine, too. Now, 
Now that's going to be very textury. So anything I put on top of that is going to be um, pretty obvious. And I'll go ahead and keep this stencil. Obviously, I can't stick it in the water. So it's just gonna, not going to be as clean as I would like it, I guess. All right, is that four? Yes, it is four. All the ATC cards I have. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Oh, haven't heard of putting baby powder in it. Obvious, supposed, but not enough. Oh, corn flour does work. Barbara just told us earlier in chat that the corn flour um, is more grainy. And so hers ended up looking like um, craters on the moon. I, I think, yeah, just try different things, see what you like. This is definitely an inexpensive way to get um, texture paste. But I think the recipe is on the equal parts of the three items. And the three items, Adelia, were um, acrylic paint. I just used cheap craft paint. Which is just cheap water-soluble school glue. And um, I use baby powder. So um, if you don't like the smell of baby powder, get something else. Use bath powder. Any kind of top powder is going to work just. All right. Let's see if any of them are dry. The clock one I did first. All right. Just to be safe, I think. I'll hit it with the heat gun real quick. I don't think the heat gun is going to hurt it at all. You're choosing the prompts at random, five or more to a page. Good on you, Devin. You should end up with some crazy stuff. Are you just randomly picking the numbers? That would be crazy. Actually, a good way to do it. This one I will use a vintage photo. Distress I'll use huh. Um I'm sure she's fine, Robert. What? I'm sure she's fine. But if you want to go check, go check. No, I'm sure she's fine. And I could have done this beforehand. I could have used acrylic paint. I could have, yeah. I just, doing different techniques just because I can. The thing I like about this is it's not all even. You get lighter and darker and making it look all vintage -y. Your raised image, of course, is going to catch the ink first. And I think if, if you have more powder and it's stiffer, that's obviously it's going to raise up higher. Um, but yeah, do it a few times, figure out what you like. That looks fine to me. Looks pretty trashed out. That's what we're about. One thing about the distress inks are they are water soluble. So if I was going to work with something wet on top of this, this ink would move. So that 
I'm not going to, but just keep that in mind if you're are you going to use distress inks? They are water soluble. Oh, you know what I could have used is the oxide inks and thrown some water on. Oh man, you know what? That's what we're going to do with this one. This one's still wet, so yeah, we'll use the oxide inks for those of you who maybe aren't familiar with them. So that was a pretty easy background, right? And I like it. I think it looks cool. Hey, Judy. Long time no see. How's everything? Hit it with the heat gun. everything lightens a little bit um yeah i like that background that's fine let me hit this one with a heat gun real quick Those really thick parts are going to stay wet for a while. I don't care. I think I'm going to work on top of it anyway. Because it's at least dry enough that it won't smush out. Um, let's see what oxide ink we want to smush on here. So not really any really dark ones. Let's... Um, thinking, thinking, thinking. I don't want two brown ones, really. Let's do the green. Why not? I'll tell you the color in just a second. Um... Lucky Clover. So it's a green hair claw. I'm going to smush it between the bricks real quick. Okay, I get to mark down another unused product because I sure don't use these oxide inks very often. But the cool thing about the oxide inks is when you put water on them, they do crazy things. I mean, I, I was, yeah. I sprayed the water from afar, so it'll hopefully make it press. And I use the distress spray um, with the spray as a part of it. So can you see how it alters? And I think I will take another ink now and put over the actual bricks. What color? Oops, what was that? Oh, my acrylic block. And this is just an archival library green. Mm. 
looks grainy like um like actual bricks so that's kind of cool and you can still see the scratch underneath so that's kind of cool got it a little damp I like it. Okay, so we got those two pretty much ready. How do we let you know we are done with Savager at the end? Well, Tina, since you're sitting in my chat right now, if you tell me you're done, I'm going to put you on the list. <laughs> Are you done, Tina? If you are, good on you. Yeah, because I just keep a little list here at the back of the book. So, I'm going to just assume that Tina's asking because she's done. If she's not, I can erase her. Anybody else done? Hey, Dorothy, thank you. Okay, Tina's messy, crafty life. Okay, Tina, I will make sure to go back and watch the video. And I'm going to tell you guys again, if you have not seen um, Chris Kalu, and I'm not sure I'm pronouncing her last name right, she's typically at Hades, Um and she has the YouTube channel, and she did a short, I think, it's like a seven minute video going through her um, scavenger hunt. And I'm here to tell you, she really thought outside the box. She did a scroll and completed all, I don't know if there's 100 prompts, but I think she said 90 of 100. And that's all you need to do to um, be considered complete. But her, um, her scroll is so outside the box, so cool. I would recommend it to anybody just to watch it. You can read the whole story. She's scrolling, or is she's, yeah, scrolling through the video. Um, so well done. Um, so really outside the box. And I love that. I mean, anytime you guys do something totally unexpected, it just tickles me to death. And the reason I'm just adding more color is anything you add at this point is really just more texture. I'm going to add stickers on this. And because they're all going to appear on the same page, I want to keep, you know, like inking the borders kind of consistent so they all look like they belong. And they're all going to be awesome. And I showed the whole packet of stickers earlier. So we got three of the four done. I'm making Great job, you guys. Hi, Kat. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Barbara just put the link in for um, Chris's video of the scavenger hunt. Very creative, I have to say. Very, very creative. I think I'm just going to do the dark blue on this too. This is the one that the pink ink get it in. Um, and that's fine. I don't care. I don't know which stickers I'll choose to put. 
put on there. Um, I'll use black to ink these edges because the dark it's going to be really hard to see. But I'll do it anyway. I don't know if you guys can see it. I can see it a little bit. So, yeah, if you end up with a mess like this, what I would recommend is um, put more powder. Hi, Joan. I hope I haven't missed anybody. You love, you like Chris's role? Yeah, she did good. Oh, you guys are going to do art retreat in July again. You have 93 done. Ugh. All right, Terry, you're going on the list because you've met the minimum requirement. Oh, there are a bunch of overachievers. All right, here's our four backgrounds. Okay, now, just because I'm talking about making backgrounds, before I did this, I could have put down book print and then um, done the stencil on top of it. You know, like, they don't have to be as simple as this. In fact, you could do journaling by fives or something. And then I did pull out some of the stickers that I liked that I wanted to use. So we'll see how they look on the backgrounds that I've chosen. I kind of like that one with the red. Just layer them up. And that might even be too much. I don't know. I definitely wanted to use the little rabbit one. And this one with the clock. Yeah, I like that. Tell me what you guys think. Not sure I pulled out much green. I think that one will stick out really good on this, so. Hmm. No. Nope. It's kind of big for that space is the deal. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Well, maybe I didn't pull out enough stickerage. Let me dig through my stuff here and see what I got. Not liking this one at all. No, that actually would go better on the green, I think. Yep. Better on the green. I don't know why I have to do everything in threes, but that number just to me seems like you need to do thing in threes. I may not end up using it.
Hi, Dana. Yeah, Chris video. It's amazing. I agree. You have three and a half of the problems done. Kitty Jen, there's no rule that says you have to have them all done by now. What happened with Joe? Must get a brick, brick stencil. Adil Adelia, you can um, cut one. It's so easy. Oh, Joan, I'm so sorry to hear that you can't fly. Oh, I know you look forward to that so much. Okay, take it easy, Carol. We'll talk to you later. Um, let's see. Where did I put that pile of crap? I have too much piles of crap around here, you guys. All right. Here it is. Just looking. I kind of like this. That's too much red. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got here. I like the pink. Do I like that better or the flower better? I don't want to fussy cut that, though. That's the problem with that. Maybe if I wasn't such a lazy wench. I love the little tickets. I know that. Do I like that ticket better? Or this ticket better? This one better. I like these little people, but I didn't have the patience to fussy cut them. So sometimes I believe in as many as six impossible things before breakfast. I don't have a place for that. I do want something kind of little. That little drink me bottle is cute. I'm not only looking for color, I'm also looking for shape. So postage in my world works anytime. More postages. I also could cut out one of these. Um, Playing cards, if I need something small, I think I'll do that. I'll just cut the ace off with the pack. All right. Hi, Angie. Just lurk away. You don't know if I'll go if your boyfriend won't be there. Sure, Stevie. Now, a two and a half by three and a half inch. Um, space is not a lot to work with, so keep that in mind, too. Um Because I, I want some of the texture to show, right? But I want it to look layered. So, And I don't mind if something goes off the edge. In fact, I prefer if something goes off the edge. I'll just go back and ink it up. I'll make that part of it. So let's do that. Yep, then I can add something up there. Okay. Our plan is coming together and maybe one more ticket yeah we'll use a ticket smaller so when i'm done with this particular project um all this We'll end up in that box of ephemera 
that I have. And you'll see it again. All right, now this, do I want a card or do I want That's too big. It's in the sizes here. All right, how do you guys think that looks? Let me lay them out here, put this stuff aside. I really like this flag though. Uneven numbers, uneven numbers, you'll always be happy. Okay, if you want to let me know that you've um, completed the hunt, you can go to Instagram. Um, leave a comment on the video. I usually see all the comments. Um, you can come to a stream. Tell me a stream. I don't mind interrupting my bad self to um, rich in the book. Um, Instagram message is honestly the best way um, to let me know because I will literally interrupt anything I'm doing. Um, to go write it down because I'm scared to death that I'm going to miss somebody. So um, I will periodically read off who I've got on the list. And if you finish and you're not on the list, just say to me. Okay, there you go. See? Dana just told me. In years past, you guys, if we had 14 or 15 completions, that was a lot. And we're already at eight. We're still in January. So, Cat and Pace, did I say hi to you? If I didn't, I feel bad now. Hi, Cat and Pace. Hi, Julie West. You have 19 pounds left to go. You need a printer. Yeah. The most expensive liquid on the planet. Printer ink, and I'm not even hosing. That is true. This is just a magazine I keep around to glue on. I don't even know. Honestly, you guys, my husband used to get this and order from them. He's been dead 23 years, and they're still sending it to me. I haven't ordered in 23 years. At what point do you think they'd give up and say, we're not making any money off these people. And I don't trust. Um, the glue on the stickers. So that's why I'm going ahead and, and putting glue on the back. Because I don't want them falling apart later. That would just annoy me. All right. And that one I want on top so you can see the twinkle, twinkle. So Alice has to go next. And this it's especially important with um, these little cards because of the texture on top, right? The cards themselves. And these stickers are matte, which I really like. And they're not too hard to get off their backing. So if they were hard to get off their backing, you'd really hear me complaining. Because I'm putting you not afraid to complain, as some of you know. I like that. E, that's got ink on it. That's going to get everywhere. 
Now, if I wasn't going to slap this down in a book, I probably would go ahead and paint the back of this black or mount it on some black card stock or something. But since they're going in a book, I'm not really going to worry about it. My G still black has shorts on that you can pull down. Oh, Scrappy, I've got to see that. Pull down his little ponties. Oh, I love you guys so much. All right. That's good. So I'm going to put this down first. Oops. Don't move after I put you down, dang it. Shh. Oh, come on. It keeps peeling away and then falling back. There. Whew. I'm pretty sure that the glue on the back of these stickers would not hold. So keep that in mind if you even are thinking about ordering them. I mean, it would be okay like in the Beast or something like that. But for something like this, not adequate. So, yeah. Know that. But they're cute. So a little bit of glue stick is fine. This one's only going to work because this bunny thing is so cute. I'm going to round these corners a little bit. All right, come on. I'm going to let that rose go off the page and 
because those are so close to the same size, I think I'm going to ink the edge. So there's a little distinction between the two. I thought about inking all the edges and thought, nah. But this one I will. Hi to anybody I might have missed coming in. Is okay. Alberta's trophy trout, Devin. Yeah, I don't want to mess with that lettering, so I'd rather cover this. Makes it a little bottom heavy, but that's okay because that is so big and heavy at the top. Hopefully that weights it down. All right. Three down, one to go. Okay, how did we have this? So, Winnie will go first. He's so cute. You almost caught it, and you don't even fish. You're a rock star. We used to um, take trips up to Canada, flying trips to go fishing. Devin, we fished all over Canada. Saskatchewan, Alberta, British Columbia, not so much the East Coast, but um, yeah, pretty much everywhere else. Now, I hope that doesn't bother me because the card was laid on the sticker crooked. And when I look down, I see that it's crooked. I hope that doesn't bother me. All right. That's all the gluing for now. All right, here's the four cards. I'm not sure how I want to lay them out. 
Okay, so this is the page they're going to be mounted on. And this, oops, I got to reopen the book because I had to go to the back to get to the completion page. Where is the opposite page? Okay, so here's the opposite page. So before we make any hard pass plans, let's kind of lay it out. Let me see how much you guys can see here. Because this page is going to have a lot of color. This obviously is not going to have any. And I think I planned it so they could, I might end up only using three of them. I don't know. Because you know what? Mm, let's say I could trim them down. Because I knew they were going to be pretty close. So my options at this point are put them all kind of touching in the middle. That's probably what I'm going to end up doing. Um. Which is okay because then it's going to be slightly lower or higher as the lettering on this side. And if I wanted, I could put one of the um, characters over here because I left, I kind of wanted that blank so I could decide what I wanted to do with it. So I can either repeat, say, the bunny or Alice or whatever. Or I could use that stencil and just like stencil the clock. So to tie the two pages together, I can decide what to do. Um, or I could do that. No, it's not going to fit without covering up. Nope. So I'm going to have to, um, I could do three, just lay them out like this. Um, which do you guys think looks better? The one I wouldn't use probably is this one. I like these three a little bit better. So tell me what you guys think. And then if I wanted, I could put other stickers in here. I don't like this one. It just doesn't fit that. Yeah. It could stick out like a tab. Yes, it could. Yeah, I don't care if stuff sticks out of this book. Other books, I'm a little weird about that. Okay, CB says three. Kel wants four. The fourth one is, that's not horrible, Devin. And I'll take any art advice from you. Just saying. I trust you a lot. Kind of like this guy. All right. Let me see if I have a big rabbit. Because most of the big characters were him, Alice. There's the bunny. There's a bunny. Of course, if I found something on any one of these pages, I could cut it out. Not that I want to, but I could. All right, where's the other one? Have I already lost stuff? How do I lose stuff when I'm just sitting here? I haven't heard anybody. I haven't done anything. Another thing is if I did want to tab on the page, I could use something like that. All right, Terry saying three. Dorothy saying three. Sharon saying, okay, I think three has one. All right. Three is what it's going to be because you guys get to make all the decisions because I hate making decisions. And then I'll just have to decide, do I put the ATC over here? I kind of think I will and just let it stick out of the book. Or I could trim a little bit up on this side. Too. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. But that plenty is cute too. I know, right, Devin? Uh 
I think the three on the left should be tilted a bit. What, you mean like this? I just cut off what sticks off over the edge? Tilted a bit. Tilted a bit. What the hell? I might trim off the hair, but I don't even care if they're all touching. You like the ATC on the right? Okay. Alternating tilts. Oh, you mean just not um, where they maybe overlap each other like this? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I think you're right, Devin. I think you're right. And if I have to trim off some off the edge, I don't care. I'll do that. Overlap. Okay. I vote for you guys. All right. Now, I have to remember that the back of this page already has junk on it. And so it's not going to lay real flat. So probably the best thing for me to do at this point is to use um, glue and glue this down and then put wax paper and a book or something on top of it because it's not going to stick. Good thing I didn't typo tilt. <laughs> really, Devin? That could have got me laughing and I never would have stopped. Okay. Put all this junk. I'm going to keep the ATC and leave these other characters for someplace else. But another thing, and I don't want to overdo, really. I don't. Um, would I want to put some of these stickers, the really cute little stickers, or, oops, or one of the little tags in the empty spots? What do you guys think? Tell me what you think. Or is that just too much and a distraction? It could just be a flipping distraction. Stickers too. Okay, we're gonna use all our stuff because we can. Get out some Eileen's tacky and I found an extra bottle of tacky glue the other day. I don't know what, uh, don't even ask me. Don't even ask me. All right. I'm going to go ahead, I think. And cut off some of the ATC cards. And I'm okay with that. Oops, this one. How did I have that? Nope. Did I have it like that? I don't remember how I had it now. Because I liked them going all different ways. I liked it the way I had it. I should have taken a picture. What the hell? I like Bossy Devin. Bossy Devin is the best. All right, maybe if I just do them right to the edge of the page. This one definitely gonna is going to have to be trimmed. And then pull this one down to the edge. Is that good? That's going to have to do it. I could go back in the video... And look how it was. Maybe I will. I don't even know why you guys put up with my craziness. All right. So this one was that way. That one. And then this one was... Okay, I think that's more like how I had them. Okay, and then I'll use my edges. All right. Devin, you just be as bossy as you want, girl. Oh, and I didn't keep this upside down. 
So I have to wait for the glue. This book is never coming apart, I promise you. When I stick junk down, it stays down. Let me see if I have some cardboard or something in my trash. Smoosh that around with. I'm sure I do. Yep. You better be ready when you stick that down because you ain't moving it again. Okay. Just saying. I want that one. So you can still see the Lacey Street Theater. And I don't care if I cut that off. All right. No, it's not going to be quite so tilted, I don't think. Okay. <clears throat> Dee Dee just smush her fingers right in there seen her do it a thousand times and then I always think why doesn't everything she touches after that stick to her hands Dorothy's over there in the UK multitasking. And that should be plenty of glue, don't you think? All right, what was it? This way, yes, this way. Nope, I want them overlapping, so. Right there. That'll be fine. All right, you guys cool with that? Get any excess glue off while it's still wet. I really like that clock. Stencil. All right, and this one I'm going to go ahead and stick out here and let it go off the page a little bit. How about that? Thanks, guys. 
Oh, I just threw my glue spreader away. Now I have to go touch the trash. I'll try not to get it on the edge. Oh, you know, well, I can just paint it black or something. And say I should have prepared for the back of this card. So it's gonna stick out. There's my glue spreader. Oops, I want you to be able to see the comma. I can't believe I'm doing this eyeball and I don't have a route. Oh, I'm making myself nervous. For it. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. Hi, Kathleen. I'm trying to fill a watercolor palette from tubes and there is everywhere. <laughs> Cat, it's not easy. I I feel your pain, girl. I feel your pain. I love doing that though. I wish I had that I could fill. Okay, I'm trying to I will smush this under a book when we're done here. I can cut this off as best we can. Whoops, you know what? Yeah, that don't that little niggly voice just said to me, don't do that. You're gonna be sorry. And I'm gonna listen to that little niggly voice because when I ignore it, I'm always sorry. Remember my diary entry from last year? Yeah. And when your conscious is telling you, don't be doing stupid stuff. There. Awesome. Awesome. Hi, Kay Berg. I didn't see you come in. I hope you haven't been here waiting for me to acknowledge your presence for an hour. That would make me feel bad. All right, let's look if we want more stickers. Sometimes I get a better idea of what is going on when I look in the camera. So let me see. Okay, there's a couple of things I could do. I could pick out any element, um, or I could just add another sticker. Let me have a drink of some iced coffee over here. Okay, cool. I'm gonna miss your stream tomorrow. I normally look at your stream, stream Kathy, but. Tomorrow I have to go to Joplin before the snow. I don't think we're supposed to get a bunch of snow, but probably um, enough that I want to make sure we have some stuff on hand, you know? I don't want to have to send Robert out. Okay. New question I know you may have already answered, but do you think I should put some little stickers? Now, see, that one fits that space, so ideally, I'm okay with that. But I don't want to force it either, you know, like if, oh, here's a little, did I have the bunny on here? Here's the bunny. It's the bunny, a teapot, bunny. Did I use the teapot? Yeah, see, I've used the teapot one, so I could, let's try this. I don't care if I cut them up. It might fill the page up a little bit. Um, oh, that's funny. Arkansas. Yeah, well, see, that's what happens here. When we get snow, they don't have the equipment. We're just not prepared for it. So if, um, if we get snow, you're pretty much at home. You're not going to... 
Um, yeah, you're not going to go out gallivanting around, I promise you. One, because these idiots down here can't drive. And two, they don't know what to do. Um, I'm thinking, do I want the jack? I think I like the jack. Or maybe I should use the queen for my own self. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to cut this out so it doesn't look crooked. And y'all can make fun of me all you want. I don't care. Because I don't have a fragile ego. I'm used to being picked on. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. I'm so pissed off that I've lost my little cutter bee scissors. I'm going to buy myself those iridescent ones that Z showed yesterday. Do I want to do that or not? Hey, Tina. Bossy me says, tilt the sticker on the top to the right. So this, this, and this, and just kind of tie all the APCs together. You just keep on being a bossy wench, Devin. Yeah, I like this, this one, the drink me. Too much cup. See, that's what I'm thinking too. Is that maybe I don't want to do that, or maybe I want to take a white pen or just any kind of acrylic pen and just draw like a border around it, just to border it up. Be done. If you tell only you, you never mind. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe when you don't know, you just, I'm thinking a border is just take, pick a color, whatever color, use a Posca pen and just do a border connecting all of it. And it, it will, yeah. Let's try that. I think the drink me sticker at least. Well, see, I like the drink me down here too. I really do. I wish I had a bite me sticker. Can you guys see that I had to fix the end down here? A black and white diamond border cut and paste. Oh, baby, 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 baby. Alternate them, you mean? A black and white diamond border. I'm liking that idea. Okay, here, because we can do this. I don't even know why you guys put up with me. Um, it would kind of be fun to even do, okay, wait, 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 where is a piece of paper? How can I have more paper than anybody on the planet? And when it comes time, I never have a flipping piece of paper. What the heck? Here's some 25 pound paper. We'll try that. What the heck? Oh, that's already cut into an ATC. Who cares? Oh, a string from your hoodie went through the. Oh, that was bad news, dude. All right. Hang on. We're experimenting now. We're experimenting. Because I've already got the, well, the thing about this diamond border is it's not straight, but yeah, whatever. Let's just, 
because I've got, <laughs> I've got, that's where it's staying apparently. Um, I've got this and I'm not going to save it. So I might as well use it, right? And that's what started this whole mess. I thought I actually had a cut stencil of this um, Harlequin kind of um, design. And I think what it is, I think it, I was trying to keep the designs kind of small because of the substrate I'm working on, right? Um, I think I have, I think I have it in a 12 by 12 is what it is. And I keep the 12 by 12 separate from the smaller designs. All right, what I'm thinking is do it on a separate sheet and then put it on rather than working directly on the page in the book because, frankly, I don't trust myself that much. I might have to get some more tomorrow. I'll have to look and see how much baby wipes I have. Anyway, buying it early is probably not a bad idea because ain't nothing coming down in price. And I can probably get enough at Sam's Club for 12 babies. Okay. Let me hit this with a heat gun. Heat gun. We'll see if we like the border idea. All right, you heat up that baby powder. It really smells good. All right, that's good enough. Um, I'm just trying to think now how, what would be the best thing to colorize the, the black? Probably, honestly, black ink would be the best. And I'd have the most control. So let me get out the carbon black ink because I know it's permanent and I won't have any more screw ups like I did the last time. Get out a little tiny paint brush so I can control this and let's see how it goes. You know, another thing, because this is going to be hard to control, maybe the best thing. I'm trying to think if I have any, like, little sponge things. We'll get the general idea with this, and then I'll make decisions. I think this, and I've said it before, but I'll say it again because I just believe it so much. This carbon black ink, even going over this um, white like this, it is the best black on the planet.
I don't know if I want to go to this much trouble, frankly, but. But I know if, if I do and I end up liking it, I'll be happy in the end that I did, so. I was thinking about just rubbing um, black ink on top of every other one. And maybe that's what I would end up doing. Um, this will give me an idea of whether or not I'm going to like it. You have to test stuff, right? You taking off, Dee Dee? I'll catch you later. Go have a fun afternoon. The problem is, well, yeah, if I do it through the stencil. All right, we're just going to, since it's just an experiment, I'd almost have to go direct to the background, you guys. But I could cover anything that's there. But let's just quickly give this a go. And see if that's going to feel okay. Yeah, I'd have to go direct to the background. That, ugh, that scares me. That's when bad stuff starts happening. Crap, it sounds like a raceway out there. Can you guys hear the honking and the cars? Keep in mind, we maybe have five cars a day go up and down this road. You're just going to have to overlook the white border. This is just to give a feel for size and if it feels good, okay? And you're going, are you kidding? You're making me sit here for this? Yeah, actually I am. Get over it. All right. Bring the page back up. What do you guys think? Because the one's going down, hmm, hmm, yeah, I'm not sure. I am not sure. I think that's asking a lot of a girl. You can't hear the cars? Okay. Because really, it sounds like a speedway out there. Not anymore, but for a while, and they were honking. You never hear a honk or a siren. So when I go to town and hear a honk or a siren, I'm like, what the hell? Is this how most people live? No, not for me, no. The light's too bright. Well, yeah. Um, I could always dull it down with a little bit of... Um, yep. Hang on. And I could cut... Well... I'd have to color. Nope. I'd have to do every other one. I could make two batches though. Colorize. No, I'm going to do it all one. I don't know. I think this is asking a lot. If I dull down the white. I kind of like the idea, but I, yeah, I just. 
I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't think I'm going to do it. I kind of like, oops, sorry, you guys can't see it. What a dope I am. Mm -hmm. This would have to go then, but I could join every, I'm thinking of order with Posca and I'm not going to use the flight. I just don't think it needs it, honestly, is kind of how I feel. Or, you know what I could do? I just thought of it, you guys. And I'm not going to do it while you're here. Well, I suppose I could. But because I have the die cut. All right. Here's my brilliant. Oh, I dropped that on the floor. Um, here's my brilliant pen. Tell me what you think. I could get out my die cutter because, like I told you, this is actually a stencil I made out of a die cut that I have. I could die cut this on the book paper and do the border in the book paper so that this page carries over to this page. What do you think of that? That would, pro in fact, I think I like that idea. You guys want me to do that? I've still got plenty of time. You want me to try it? Because it'll only take me a minute to get out the die cutter. It's only just a screw one. You want to try it? Yeah, I'm thinking that could sound really cool. I have a page of the actual book paper, extra book paper right here. All right, here we go, because we don't have a big enough mess in this place. We're getting more mess out. Okay, the thing that took so long was I had to find this guy. <sighs> I'm going to do this off camera. Um, I don't want to have to move all of that stuff, but it should be. You know what I mean, Jimmy B? These are Sizzix dies. And I like them very, very much. Now, if I can remember how to use this darn another piece of paper. All right. I have to put a piece of card stock in with the dies. All right. Wish I had multiples to do it once. Try and get it somewhat straight. Good luck with that, right? Bear with me. I don't do this often. I do kind of want it straight, though.
All right, let's see how we did. Wait a minute. You know what? You're going to get the reverse. So you're going to end up with lots of little pieces. Uh, right. Let's see. This is crazy. Yeah. I'm going to get the reverse of what I want. I have not found the cutter bees, Tina. They're somewhere around here. I kind of think the rat, honestly. Just going to use them quickly and bring them right back because that's the way we do things around here. All right, hang on. Maybe this wouldn't be horrible. That's a no. I know that for certain. Um, so let's see. It wouldn't take me really very long, I don't think, to draw a straight line. Cut these out a few times. And you guys be honest. Tell me what you think. Because I could get them on here straight. And, well, probably wouldn't go to the trouble of putting... Tape on the back, but I could actually even turn them into stickers. Be honest here. And obviously, I'm just setting them down so. They may or may not be straight, but we can solve that. That's the kind of crap we actually like to do around here. Something so mundane, so boring, so ridiculous that you just can't help yourself. And I'll trim off the ones that will butt up against the cards, okay? Shoot, there might be enough pieces off this one die cut to finish it if I decide to do this. Uh. Come on, don't be a little pain in the butt or I'll start calling you Tina. <laughs> Sorry, Tina, I couldn't help myself. If Dee Dee was here, I would have said Dee Dee. <laughs> God, I'm miserable to my friends. I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm not sure. It is whimsical. I will say that. Which Alice in Wonderland in my world seems to be whimsical. This will give you an idea. I won't make you guys sit and watch me do this. Um, I'll do it after I fin finish the stream, but you can at least see. And the way I'll decide, you know, I'll go ahead and mark myself a straight edge, same distance, left and right, up and down, right? And, um, and then start at the corner, work down, trim where the um, border is going to meet the 
because I'll have to do it like this so that the background is around the little triangle dudes, right? All right, cat and paste. I'm going to blame you for this. When I'm sitting around drinking and cussing tonight, it's your fault. And I know that's not even, but it gives you an idea of what it's going to be like when it's all the way around. Yeah, I like that they're not all perfectly shaped too, Terry. Um, I think when I get it straight, I think it's going to tie it all. Oops. Well, it would be help if I took this off so you can see the whole page, right? Duh. Got one die cut did the whole thing. Yeah, baby. Different kind of page layout, but I think I like it, and I think I am going to go ahead and do the border with the page like this. Trash. Trash. And I'm like, I like this drink me, but I don't know that I want anything over on this side of the page. Really don't. Okay, bye, Tina. We'll catch you later. You have to take care of mom when mom needs something. All right, the border is going to stay. I think I am going to do the book page border. A pocket and a ruler would be easier, mind you, but I do like that. So I think that's what's going to happen. I might put that little bottle on there. I, I do kind of like that. You guys like that? All right. Since I've got that whole die cut thing out, I think I might make another stencil. Since this one is probably pretty trashed out. Like the bottle, like the bottle, like the. All right, the bottle's staying. And this, because it's going on the book paper, I won't have to glue the back. Oh, maybe I should just to be safe. Better safe than sorry, right? Peeling up in a day or two, I will ask myself for not using my best judgment. I have to write another diary entry. I haven't worked on the planner page yet. I do have a bunch of ideas and I've collected a bunch of stuff um, for some of the other prompts. But the planner page, I have not even thought about, but I think it's going to be a really fun prompt. All right, we're going to, oops, too late. I like the bottle over the black better, so maybe you could make an ink splat, put a bottle on top. Oops, too late. Not too late. Not too late, Devin. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it like this, though. I'm just going to leave it. But I agree with you. It stands out more against the dark background, but I do agree. All right, so I'll do all these diamonds later because I'm going to separate the um, cardstock because some of them stayed stuck to their cardstock. 
Heck, I've got a new stencil. It's already cut. Look at me. Bad girl. You got your monster and emoji one? Ready to go. Cool. All right. I keep wanting to go ahead and trim that off, but I'm not going to. I'm going to let it stay hanging off the back. Um, but I do have to, I'm going to go ahead and um, paint that black. Did I put the carbon ink away? I'm not going to go ahead and paint that black right now because that sticking out looking unsightly will annoy me. And there's no point in annoying me when I don't have to. Right? Right. Alrighty. Oh, you know what I could do? I'm glad I used it. I could write right on there, and that could be my hidden message because. Oops. There goes all the things. Um, that's okay. It was going to have to happen anyway. Um, when you're looking at the book this way, you can't see it. You got to turn the page to get it. I think I will have put a hidden message there. And it probably won't be bite me. Oh, no, Devin. Yeah, thank Devin for job well done here, right? Here we go. I will darken that um, edge. I got the stamp pad. Let's see if it's dark enough. There. Now those little white spots aren't sticking out. Yay me! Okay, yeah, I think I will put a, the hidden message. I'll write it on a separate sheet, glue it on there, and then have a flap that folds over. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So it actually will be hidden, but I'll know it's right on that tab sticking out of the book. Baby, baby, I love when the plan comes together. You guys, I enjoyed this page. It was fun. And Devin, thank you for your help. I couldn't have done it without you. Um, yeah, and I'll spend the rest of the day now gluing on those little diamonds, but that's okay. I wasn't going to cook anyway. This can go over here. I really did let, when I did this, the lettering and everything for this, um, because I, I hand did all that lettering with a stencil. I didn't run that through a printer. That was really fun. That's what I love doing. So let's see. Um, I'm going to come down. I think right there is three quarters of an inch. Right there. All right, let's see. This is how I go about doing this crazy crap that I do. All right, so that is... The diamond itself is about five eighths. Divide that in half, which is one, two, three, four, five. Is it really? Boy, that feels bigger than I would have thought. But it sure enough is. So that's going to be two and a half. So 
So up from the bottom of the page, one, two, three, seven sixteenths. I do it in pencil. So the bottom of the little diamond will line up right on that page. And that means if I want the same at the top, I want 7 sixteenths. At the top as well. And that means if I'm going to keep the whole border uniform, which I kind of like to do, you know, um, I should come in some sixteenths from the city edges. And the edge will be on that. Let's see how that works. And I know you guys were just hanging around to see the ruler come out. Oh, you know what? This edge part, actually, I'm going to have to redo. And I'll tell you why. No, I'm not going to get that picky. I think it'll be fine. So let me get one of these little dudes. Yeah, see, if I put it all the way over there, that's too much. Yep, I'm going to keep the... Borders around the edge are all going to be uniform. I'll feel better about the whole thing if I do that. I'm pretty sure. Let me get my pokey pokey tool. Using a pokey tool and dipping them in glue after I get them off the um, cover stock backing. So that one will get trimmed off right there. And then I'll pick it up again down here. All right, you guys, I've got a plan. I got a plan. It's going to go quicker than I thought because what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of glue out. And when I get the little diamond on the puppy tool, I'll just dip it in the um, glue, slap it down on the page. Yeah, see, that one's going to be weird because it's going to be a little piece of one, but that's okay. All right, you guys are taking off, so I'm going to call it a day as well and sit here and finish this. Um, I think I'm going to like it a lot. Come on. Not wanting to pokey very much. All right, you guys. I'm going to call it a day. I appreciate you spending your time with me. 
Um, go out and do something creative and have some fun. Try and be kind. I try, but I tell you, society is making it harder and harder all the time. Um, yeah. And pray for me tomorrow. I'm going out in public and I don't particularly want to hurt anybody while I'm out. So, yeah. Thanks for hanging with me this afternoon. And I will see you Wednesday morning over at Dee Dee. So, love you guys. Try and be kind. See you later. Bye now.